You know, a lot of the seniors have been here for four years. You know, we still have guys in five years. Threat, threat's one of them. Um, you know, we uh, we came out here. We wanted to win. We were in the game. You know, we had, we had a chance to come back and, and score some touchdowns, stop them on uh, offense. But we just didn't get it done. You know, it would have been nice to beat this same Houston team. That's pretty good on senior night. So, uh, That's a pretty tough team to beat. Yeah. The defense played well. And at yeah. one point, it was a two-possession game. Yeah. What did the defense do right? You know, we just played hard. We, we've been doing that this last half of the season from the bye week on. And, um, you know, we're playing one-game championships, like our uh, defense coordinator, Coach Gamble, saying it's one-game championships from here on out. And that's how we played with McNeese, and that's how we played with uh, uh, Sam Houston. So, you know, we got one, one more next week against Lamar, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to go out there and just keep playing one-game championships. What does the coach tell you after a loss like this tonight? You know, he's like, there, there's no uh, there's no moral victories in football. It's wins or losses. But, um, you know, it's we're, we're making progress. You know, it, it's going to be good going into next season with this defense to, uh, you know, make some strides on. But, you know, whatever, we lost, so that's that's the end of it. What's it like for you to be a Cardinals for four years? It's, it's been fun, you know. It was kind of weird. All the seniors were talking in the locker room. Like, this is the last time we had to, you know, chill in our locker room before the game, walk out here underneath the tunnel. You know, it's been it's been fun. Um, I'm, I'm ready for it. So, you know, I'm not saying ready for football to be over, but, you know, getting the heck beat out of you for four years, you know, you got to know whenever time's coming up, you got to enjoy it. What about next week? What do you want to do next week? Next week, we're in the locker room watching Lamar and UCA before the game started. Um, so, you know, Lamar, Lamar's got a good team from what we've heard. And um, we're, we're excited to go out to Beaumont, end the season on a good note. All right, thank you very much. You know, I, I told him in the locker room that <clears throat> there are also no such things as moral victories, but I was really proud of the way we we played. And at one point in the game, we're, you know, it was 33 to 19, and we really felt like we had a chance to win the game. And we just didn't – we weren't good enough to, to, to do that. But I, I love the way our guys fought. I love the enthusiasm. There was as much enthusiasm on the sideline as any game I can remember. So I'm really proud of them. Uh, we just got to keep getting better. And you know what I what I just told a couple of the recruits out here is that we're going to play these guys in two years back here. And when those guys, those recruits are sophomores, we're going to beat them here. The next time we play them at our place, we're beating them here. So you know we're, we're coming, and it's just a matter of time. You said there's a lot of things you want to work on and get better. What are some of those things you can do to get better? Well, we we need to we need to mature as a team. We got we're playing an awful lot of young guys, you know, and and, and freshmen are hard hard guys to coach because they're freshmen, you know, and and I love them, but they 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 make freshman mistakes, you know. And we're playing a lot of those guys, and they're getting valuable experience, and and you know when they're juniors and seniors and and sophomores, are we're going to be a lot better for it. Does for the seniors, what, what are you talking to seniors for the last home game? You know, we we talked last night, and uh, <clears throat> and I, and I I read them off a list of about twenty five things that the coaches had said about them. There was stuff like they're loyal, they're tough, they're hard working, they're conscientious, they're disciplined, they're great team guys, all those things, you know. And so their legacy is going to be that they they never, just like Winston Churchill said in World World War Two, you know, that famous speech, never, 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 never give up. And they've never done that. And, you know, that's what they're going to be remembered for. You know, and in 30 years when they're having a reunion, you know, and nobody's going to remember how many games they won or lost. They're just going to remember them as guys who never, 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 never gave up. Now next week is the last game of the season. Uh, what are your expectations for them? Well, Lamar's a good team. You know, they're, they've, they've won. I think they, I don't know how they did today. They were playing playing UCA real tough. They've got a, a quarterback who's thrown for a bunch of yards, and, and they're they're a mature team. They're they're playing very well. Uh, we're going to go down, and, and we'll have a chance to win. If we play as well as we can play, we'll have a chance to win in the, late in the fourth quarter.